bulk adding team members to view files using SharePoint permissions. I have a team called SharePoint permissions and another team called M365 test team. In my SharePoint permissions team, I've created this folder called shared documents that I'd like to share with members of that other team. I don't want to add these members to the team, I just want to make sure they can access files in this folder. So I'm going to go into the team that I want to be able to access the files. I click on files and then open in SharePoint. This will open up in a browser and from here I want to copy in the URL which is the first bit of the URL for that SharePoint site up until backslash shared. I've now got a spreadsheet called Team Details. I'm going to paste in the URL of that website and then I'm also going to copy in the team name. In this case it's N365 space test space team. You can see that in the SharePoint site there's no spaces. I'm going to now use this without the spaces, so the end of the site URL, to start my email address. And once I've added in all that team name, I'm going to add in at schoolsaedu.onmicrosoft.com. This is the email address of that team. And this is what I need in order to add the members of that team to the permissions of the folder that I'd like them to share. I'm going to make some notes as well in this last column so that I remember what that team is actually for. And then I'm going to go ahead and copy that email address. So just highlight it and press Ctrl C to copy. I'm now going to open up the team with the folder I'd like to share. Again, I'm going to click on Files and then I'm going to go to Open in SharePoint. From here, I'm going to click on the three dots next to the folder I'd like to share and click on Manage Access. Here, I'm going to click on Advanced and then Stop Inheriting Permissions. This allows me to create or grant permissions. And when I click on here, I am going to paste in that email address of the team. And you'll see that Microsoft recognizes that that's a team and has now put in the team name. I've got some options in here, so I could send an email if I wanted. I can change the permissions, so in this case I just want the people to be able to read this folder and then I click on share. When I refresh the page now, I'll see that those members of that team now have read access to this folder. They're not members of the team, but they can access this folder. I might want to go back to documents and then click on the three dots to copy that link. And this is a link that people with existing access can use. So that's those people in that team that I've just added through those permissions. I can copy that link and now I could write an email to members of that team and share that link. I'm now just going in as a member of that team and you can see that when I paste in that link I can click on those share documents and I can read what's in there and you can see I've got read only access to that particular folder within that particular team.